All right, guys, we're going to do some car tinting today. I'm going to show you guys how to tune your carburetors after doing a torrent delete or after a complete rebuild when you've had the idle screws completely out, air screws completely out, and all that good stuff. First off, I'm going to show you guys how this bike runs. This is uh, one of my bikes, and it's tuned and ready to go. So she sounds good. She's good to go. So now what we're going to do is simulate the cars being way out of whack after um, y'all have got them back together or your tours delete done, whatever the case is. All right, loosen my pods up. So we're going to pop those off. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go set them down somewhere. I can keep them clean. All right, so my air screws are set, idle set, and all that good stuff. So what we're going to do is just totally knock all that out of whack here. So we're going to take our air screws. For instance, just open them suckers way up. Open that one way up. And we'll take our idle screw, run it way in. Okay, here's our right carb. We'll take this idle screw out. And then what we'll do is come way in on this air screw. Okay, it's closed there. All right. Okay, so now we're starting from scratch. So after you get your carbs back on, or even on the bench rather, is what I do after a rebuild, or after I've had them disassembled, what I'll do is go ahead and put in the jets I think I'm gonna need. And you wanna go ahead and set your air screw to about one turn from closed. So you take it all the way in to where it stops don't force it and you're gonna want to back up one full turn which is like this one half turn and there's one turn we're gonna do the same thing on the right carburetor half and one turn all right then what I like to do and I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this let me see Okay, so our air screws are now at one turn. They're for, now for our, our uh, idle screws, the way I set those, I'm not sure if you can see from that angle, I think you will be able to, is I'll reach in and I'll back the idle screw out until the slide is all the way at the bottom. Okay, right there, it's all the way down. The idle screw isn't touching the slide. So what I'll do, I'm gonna keep my finger here so I can feel it. I'll turn the screw in slowly until I feel the slide start to move. Starting to move right there. What I'll do there is count two and a half turns in. So I'm gonna go half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half. Repeat for the other carb. Now remember we had these all screwed up. Alright, so this one is Okay, there. Starting to touch there, so now I'm going to go half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half turns. Okay, so our air screws are at one turn out from seated. Idle screws are at two and a half turns in from contact of the slide. And that's just kind of a halfway baseline to get you started up and it should idle there some idle faster than others at that setting it just depends on engine mods and a lot of different stuff elevation all that good stuff so let's go ahead and kick this sucker off and see how it runs
this point, it actually sounds pretty good. Uh, Okay, well that worked out pretty good. Okay, so we're at one turn on the air screws from seated and we're at two and a half in from contact on the idle screws. There's, um, on stock carburetors you have windows on the side of the carbs. And on those windows, those windows are used so, to synchronize the slides, slide height. And the windows are located here. These are the windows I'm talking about. Please go away, dog. Okay, so as you slide the throttle wide open, slowly, you'll actually see the slide move in there. See there? And there's a dimple on the slide. Right. Right there. What you want to do is get both dimples in the sight glass on the carbs at the same time. So what I do is zip tie my throttle wide open, you know, and then what I do is adjust the cables up here on top of the carbs until I get both um, both dimples in the side glasses. So we're going to do that now. All right, so we have our throttle tied wide open now. Um, that window is located on that carb, and then the other window, same place on the right side of the carburetor. On this right car, see it behind this fuel line? Right there. And you'll just have to kind of peek around the fuel line to uh, see through that sight glass. I don't really use sight glasses, that's why mine, that's why you can't see mine right now. I use the, uh, the sink tool, which I'll show you guys how to use that too if you have aftermarket carburetors. So, for uh, all intents and purposes, right now, say I don't have the sink tool, I'm going to use the windows. I have my, my uh, thumb throttles tied wide open so now we're gonna adjust the uh, slack adjusters on top of the carbs to get both dimples in view all right so then what you're gonna want to do is break come in here break your jam nuts loose screw them up to the top so you have plenty of adjustment and do both carbs the same way Alright, now I can go back over here on the right side of the quad where I can see the windows. And we're going to adjust our slack adjusters in or down, in or up, until we can see the slide. In this case, the dimples are too high, so we need to add slack to the cable. So we're just going to do this. And you can, let me see if you can see the uh, slide moving there. Yeah, there we go. So we have that dimple in view, it's right dead center of the hole. So now, go ahead and we want to hold, run this jam nut down, hold back up of the top adjuster, and then go ahead and jam your 10 millimeter nut. Just like that. Now we're going to repeat the same step for the right carburetor, and then you guys can't see that uh, that dimple, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick, and then we'll continue. Actually, no, let's just go ahead and do this the way we need to do it. I'm going to turn the fuel off for a second, and I'll pop the fuel line out of the way. Okay. Okay, here's our left side carburetor. You can do the same thing. Screw the adjuster down. You can see markings on that slide come by. And there's our our dimple right there. It's faint, but you can see it. These windows aren't real clear. If your windows aren't real clear, then you'll have to do it with a sink tool or you can do it another way and I'll go over that way also. So same deal with this one. Hold your uh, hold your top 
nut and then tighten the jam nut on the bottom, the 10 millimeter. All right, so at that point, the carburetors are synced. Okay, we can go ahead and take our zip tie off our throttle. It'll snap shut. And we still have a little bit of slack in our thumb throttle, which is good. We gotta have a little bit of slack. If you don't have any slack at all, then you need to adjust this adjuster right here. You can screw it out to shorten the cable. Now, see? Screw it out to adjust the cable. And see, there we have no slack and it. it's tight. You don't want that because when you turn the bars, it's gonna shorten the cable and it's gonna change your idle speed. So you just screw this adjuster in the whole cable itself until you have a little bit of free play in there. That's good there. I have a bad glare, I can't see what I'm doing. That's good there, and then what you'll do is just take your jam nut, same deal with it, and jam it down by hand. It's fine if you slide that boot over, or you can go ahead and jam it tight with pliers. I just do it by hand. Because by the time you get your uh, little boot slid over it, it's not gonna go anywhere. All right, now we can start it up. So we have the carb synced idle screws and uh, air screws halfway set. Now we can go ahead and fire it up to do the final tune on it. Here we go. Now, a lot of it depends on how you adjust this air mix here in idle speed. I like my idle a little faster. It's a real crisp idle. Everybody's different. What you want to do at this point is just adjust it pretty much to your case. And uh, make sure it starts good and everything's great. I'm gonna 
pedal, quarter turn on each screw. Quarter turn. Better. See how the rev is. 